This is a completed Arduino schematic for what we need to do. So what we want to do is make a fully working version of this Arduino schematic image that you can see on the screen. And this links to the project that we are making because this is how we're going to actually make our device work. So let me talk you through each part of this so far. So here, as you can see, we've got the Arduino itself. So the Arduino here has a ground pin connected to it, which is an earth pin. And it's got this black cable, which is needed too. And then here is actually the most interesting part. So here, as you can see, you've got a one mega ohm variable resistor with the bands brown, black, red, and gold. Now they have to specifically be like this to get to the closest variable resistance that we need that controls the circuit. So make sure you pick the right resistor in your kit and you should have this in your kit anyway. If not, I'm sure you can just find a few online and they're very cheap. The rest of the components you need are all wires and they don't even need to be a specific color. They can be any color, but it's just easier if you have um, wires of a different color to know where they're supposed to be and what they're used for. It's more just as a, you know, color coding, not necessarily, oh, if you have a black white, it won't work and so on. One of the most important things when connecting these uh, wires and whatever else is to make sure that they're in the right pins. And not just the right pins, but the pins that you know the names of. So let's go over here. Here you've got the pin numbers A1, A2, A3, etc. Then you've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now there's a data sheet for Arduino which you don't even have to memorize, you just need to know where, what should be connected where. So here we know, okay, we've got DAC0A0. Now, that's a bit irrelevant for this fire, but at least we know what pin it is, and this is going to be relevant when we're actually programming this for a specific function. So that's this side, and then on this side, here, you see the pin numbers. CND, VCC, Reset, 1413, ETC. And then you can see we've got CND with this black wire and the earth one. I don't really think it needs to be in a specific place, but it's just safest to put it right at the beginning when nothing else can get interfering with it. Just so you know exactly where it's supposed to be. So how do you connect something to this breadboard? Well, it's as simple as possible. I'm going to demonstrate with this green LED I've got here. So I'll get this green LED, I'll come right here, and I'll just stick it in there. Boom. That's how you connect something. Whatever wire you're putting, whatever component you're putting, you just stick it into the breadboard. And that's all you have to do to get it to connect. Now, to explain the function of these two components, the variable resistor which we've got here, which I explained, and the two wires next to it, the red and the black one, that are both sticking upwards. Now, these two wires placed they have the ends placed in the soil part. I'm not doing that now because I haven't actually got anything working. So we'll have these things here connected into the soil part. And their resistance changes based on the soil moisture. So this resistor, which we've got here, is the one that tells us this information. And this variable resistor is connected to a voltage divider configuration. And Arduino collects a voltage proportional to the resistance between the two wires. Now this is a bit of electrical engineering, but it's still important. So, the more humid the soil is, the less voltage will be measured from the Arduino and vice versa. So that's how we get the voltage reading. Obviously, not, it's not going to be the most accurate reading in history, but it's going to be enough for us to do what we're supposed to do here. This component I've got here is a battery connector. So you just connect your battery to this to provide power for it. Because obviously, when we've got this working, we're not going to have our computer... Um, connected to this Arduino. We're going to have it running with this code already downloaded on it and nothing being done to it. So this is just a battery connector here and then we've got the wires connected into there. And I haven't even got my battery yet but that's what's going to be done. I'm sure I don't need to show you how to connect the battery onto this but you know that's what we're going to have to do. So that's all the connections. So a recap of all the connections we have, we've got our ground wire, we've got our variable resistor, we've got our battery connector, uh, we've got our wires that form part of the variable resistor, and 
we've got our connecting wire that connects this pin of the Arduino all the way around here. So this wire connects from the DAC pin all the way here to form part of this resistor. So it links these wires to this pin. So we know when we're programming it, what pin links to what. So we can do connections like that. So that's the end of the video and this is a completed Arduino schematic for what we need to do.